Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you didn't think that you were gonna see my face today, but I just filmed our quarterly net worth update and I figured I would pop on and say hi before I get into the Debt Free Friday video for this week. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I'm currently on a journey to repay six figures worth of student loan debt. And today I'm going to be sharing Debt Free Friday for October 8th. I'm so excited to get into this video. So let me flip you around and we will talk about this week. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the Debt Free Friday video because I have been so excited to film this video all week. And if you've been following me for a while, you know exactly why I'm excited. I'm not gonna get into that quite yet, but we will get there in just a few minutes. So our original starting balance for my student loans was 132,404. We started this week at $21,950, which was at 83.42% paid off. We were able to make a payment this week of $1,500, which was the same as last week. If you watched my video last week, I kind of explained, but I just want to reiterate it here. We do have some extra income coming in in the month of October, so that is why our debt payments will be a little bit larger this month. That is not our regular payment amount, so just, yes, we are very, very fortunate to have extra income coming in. So with that $1,500 payment, that brings our total down to $20,450 dollars so close to under twenty thousand next week you guys next week we will be getting under twenty thousand so that brings our paid to date percentage to eighty four point five five percent so getting another percent which is very exciting and our paid to date sorry this was the only pen that i could find you guys <laughs> my favorite pen died so i need to like figure out my pen situation, but this is just what I grabbed. So our paid to date is $111,954. Wow, that's nuts to say. But $111,000 we have paid off with $20,000 to go. So side hustle income for this week. So if you've been following me for a while, you know, but just for anyone who hasn't, we do go over our side hustle income every single week. We are currently putting 100% of our side hustle income to debt. So this is for the first through today, which is the day that I'm filming this, which is Thursday afternoon, which is the seventh. So our side hustle sources for this week, we had $3.23 from Etsy. I always link my Etsy shop down below if you wanna check it out. I sell a lot of the printables that I share in these videos on my Etsy shop. And then we also had $20.10 from Surveys on the Go. My husband and I both cashed out $10 and I think I had 10 cents. So that was from Surveys on the Go. I love Surveys on the Go. If you've been here for a while, you hear about it almost every single week. So I will spare you the details, but if you haven't checked out Surveys on the Go, definitely check it out. I love it. And then I also did get another $25 from my kids clothing resale. So I decided that's something that I was gonna do. So I have like four to five bins of kids clothes in my uh, basement right now that are clothes that mostly my daughter has outgrown, some that my son has outgrown as well. And I decided that anytime I take a trip into town, into the city, um, we live about 25 minutes away. So it's not something that I do super frequently, but this last week I had to go into the office for work. So I decided to bring one of those bins with me and take it to the resale shop. Last week I did this as well. And I believe I made $28 last week and I made $25 this week. So I will definitely take it. It is something that I've had on my radar to handle for quite a while. I was originally just going to donate it and that's typically what I do, but I decided since we are really trying to pay as much money as we can to debt, I figured I would just try to take it and get as much money as I can and then donate the rest. So that was from the kids resale. Super happy that I did that. And that has given us already over $50 this month that we've been able, be able to put to debt as well. And then I also did get $34.50 from Poshmark. So another place I've been trying to just liquidate what we have is Poshmark. I still have a few listings out there. So I've just been trying to get rid of as much as I can on Poshmark because honestly, 
I just don't want to deal with the inventory anymore. So whatever I can't sell probably by the end of the year, I will probably just donate. So that brings our total for the week to 82.83, which is awesome. Super happy with that progress. I think our goal for this month was $300 of side hustle income. I could be wrong, I'm not 100% sure. I believe we're right around like 140 if I add what we had last week. So we are really doing great on the side hustle income. Probably won't be as much as a, of a focus as it was in September just because my husband's work schedule this month is very, very busy. So I probably won't be able to go out and do Instacart, I don't think. So more to come on that, but definitely happy with the progress that we have been making with side hustles this month. So now is the most exciting part because we are gonna be getting into our trackers. So if you've been around for a while, we have our debt freedom tracker that we restarted as of January 1st. So this one will be around until we're debt free. Then we have, I'm gonna go over this one first. We have our debt freedom tracker, which this is our current target loan that we are paying off. If you were here last week, we left this with a balance of just over $500. So this week we were able to pay this loan off. So excited about that. So we will be finishing coloring in this one. And then we will also be starting on our final countdown, <laughs> which I made this in Canva a couple of weeks ago, just to kind of make like a final little list of all of our loans. So obviously we do have still 10 loans remaining and then we are debt free. Luckily these loans are a lot smaller. But actually for this week, so with our $1,500 payment, we were able to finish paying off our target loan. We were also able to pay off loan one with a balance of 184. And we were also able to almost pay off our loan two, which had a balance of $818. So with the payment going through, it paid off the first target loan. It paid off this first final countdown loan, and then I also paid almost all of this one off. The balance currently on loan two is $72.90. So this one will be getting paid off next week as well as probably this one too. I'm not exactly sure what our payment will be quite yet, but really, really excited to start knocking out these loans. And I know you guys are very excited that I finally paid off this $184 loan. <laughs> I know I am. I'm very excited to start getting the number of my loans down because we have had, I think we started with like 17 different loans and we did originally start with the snowball method. We have shifted from the snowball to the avalanche and now we are shifting back to the snowball. So we are officially back to the snowball method of paying off debt, which is so exciting. I love using the snowball method, but because I had a couple of grad school loans that were so much higher in amount, uh, in interest rate, I should say, I did just wanna use the avalanche to get rid of those first. So I will start filling these in. I will pay, play some music and then I will be back to close out the video. All right, you guys, so we can officially retire our beloved Target loan. <laughs> we have been coloring this in forever, and if you've been with me since the beginning of this loan, thank you so much. It's been quite the journey to repay this $20,000 loan, but I'm so, so glad that we ended up going back to the Avalanche method because the weight of this loan was very, very heavy to me. This was my final grad school loan, so I guess I can officially say that I own my graduate degree, which is really cool. Um, obviously, I still need to pay for the rest of my undergrad degree, but it feels cool to at least own one of my diplomas now. <laughs> so I will be retiring this sheet. I'm going to be just leaving it on my fridge for a little while so that I can relish in the glory of paying this debt off. So, so excited about that. I'm really also excited about the progress that we were able to make. So not only did we pay off one loan this week, but we actually paid off two loans. We were able to knock out this really small loan. I know it drove so many of you crazy. If it, if it drove you crazy, let me know in the comments down below, because I know there were so many comments on a few of my like monthly, where we go over the monthly balances and people were like, can you just pay that loan off already? 
I did it, you guys, I did it, it's paid off. And we almost have this $800 loan paid off as well, only about $72 left on this one. So next week, we will be paying this one off as well. I'm so excited because I feel like finally this is gonna start going really, really fast because most of our loan balances are pretty small, except for when you get to the last one. The last couple are pretty big, but I still feel like it will go really, really fast. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging with me on these Debt-Free Friday videos. The support that I get on these videos absolutely means the world to me and has truly kept me going for this year. If you've watched this far into the video, comment down below, paid in full, because you guys, we paid in full two loans today, and I'm so excited about it. So thank you so much again for watching, and I will talk to you next week. Bye, guys.